Hello! This is going to be a Minecraft Let's Play. I am J.M. Goldstein of the Unknown Bones, and uh, I've just logged in to Minecraft and created a new world. Um, I've never played this world before, and it uh, randomly generated for me. So, you know, let's... Um, I'm playing this on survival mode. And it seems to have put us in a swamp area. Obviously being a swamp because of dark water and dark grass and these lily pads here, which are new to the game since the uh, last update. I can jump in here and grab this lily pad. Now what use it has, I really don't know. Um, okay, so now since I kind of wanted to play this first uh, as a survival mode, I'm going to just jump right in here and start punching these trees down. Um, so it's imperative that you get wood the, uh, the first day. Okay. Yeah. Um, some of these other things that you're seeing will be important later on. But right now I just want to, you know, grab some of these blocks of wood and get to work on some initial crafting. Now, uh, the controls work by uh, WASD to move around, space to jump, uh, shift is to crouch and kind of creep along, and then I is to open your inventory. You have a little avatar here. Uh, this avatar may look different than yours because I actually downloaded a custom skin from um, minecraftskins.com you can just go to the website and basically tell it to download your skin but uh, that's not what we're here to talk about I'm going to place these blocks of wood that I collected right here in this crafting area in my inventory and then I can click on these and I left click here to grab four I can right click again and it grabs eight and if you just alternate your clicking um, it, it's so much faster than dragging them back and forth. Now I grabbed these, uh, it took um, logs and it crafted them into wooden planks. If I take these planks here uh, and I put, now I'm right clicking to hold a stack and set them down individually. And that will make a crafting table. Okay. You hit I again to come out of your inventory to count it. And I'm right clicking to plunk that uh, crafting table down right here. And again, you can right click it to access it. it the controls on this game are really simple. Um, okay, here's some things you can uh, craft. Now, if you set a um, stack down, and then right click it, it splits that stack in half. So you have two stacks of 20. Per se. Okay, I'm gonna grab some sticks here. And then I'm going to set to work on um, crafting some tools. Okay, now if I lay down three up at the top so that it looks like a T, I get a wooden pickaxe. One at the top is a wooden shovel, and um, let's see what else do we need? Three over there in that corner is a wooden axe, but also I could switch it to the right side, and it's the same thing. It really doesn't matter which side you put it on. 
and now I'm going to uh, have one stick and then two planks and it creates a wooden sword and for the most part that's the most uh, tools you'll need right now unless you uh, are getting much deeper into the game okay so right here um, where we are right here. Let's see, I can show you killing this cow. That cow moves fast. Alright. Um, now I picked up some beef from killing that cow. Which makes sense. Also, they can uh, drop hides, which will be important for making leather later on. Uh, right now, since it's my first day, I'm going to um, build what I call a, a simple survival hut. Nothing real fancy. So I'm just going to use this shovel to uh, dig down into the ground. And, um, oh, I shouldn't dig that way. I was hoping to, ah, uh, there, no. Um, that is stone right there. And what I'm hoping I'll find in the stone is coal. So I can use my pickaxe. Start gathering up some stone. Okay. Uh, albeit I'm I'm trying to work uh, fairly quickly here, but I did want to show off something else. If I can. Uh, yeah, make some little steps out of there. I can come over to my workbench and um, take this cobblestone. When you break stone up, it turns it into cobblestone. Now I can lay that there and then make a stone pickaxe, which is, uh, as you would think, a lot better than just a, a wooden pickaxe and a stone shovel as well because you see that little bar down there that's the uh, health so to speak of your tools um, now I typically don't like video games that your uh, tools have a health bar and they break over time but um, with Minecraft, I, I can accept it. Um, it makes sense. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. So, if I, you know, kind of carve this out a little. Oh, and it's a pretty good supply. Okay, this, um, dirty looking stone here when you break it up with a pickaxe it gives you coal um, and it's usually in a large cluster like you're seeing right now and it is um, I mean since it's a fairly worthless material uh, it'll be really easy to find. Whenever I first started playing Minecraft, I always thought that I needed to uh, just set out on a mission to find coal in the cliffside and climb up and, and grab that coal before it, uh, night fell. But I found that this is a better method for me anyway. Um, a lot better than just screwing around and uh, burning daylight. Okay. Now, if 
I uh, go back up here. Now let's see, where's the... Oh, the sun is getting lower over there. So I need to... Um, in fact, I'm not even going to uh, worry about crafting anything right now. I'm going to just cut down my um, crafting table. And then, uh, let's see. I'm not even going to worry about what I'm using. I'm just going to throw some uh, dirt down here. And then I'm going to um, sort of seal that up. Uh, let's see. Let me check something up. Okay. Now, what um, what I'm going to do really quickly is. Set this crafting table down here. Gonna grab some sticks and some coal, and that makes four torches. I'm gonna grab a bunch of torches, and then these torches will obviously light this up. So now I'm going to go back up here where I left this space open and close it off. So now that it um, that'll keep anything bad from coming in here, because, uh, bad monsters, uh, for lack of a better term, I can't think of, any of what to call them, spawn in the dark. So, uh, I would suggest taking this opportunity, you know, to kind of dig around, looking for things. It's... Uh, the most important thing for surviving the first night has been done. Just to kind of get some shelter. Um, now, the reason why I'm doing this right this minute is uh, because I'm hoping that I can build a house with this stone. Um, also, there's another thing you can craft that I kind of wanted to show off. Okay, um, go to the crafting table. Now if you take your wooden planks and put them in this big box like that, you get a chest. And if you take your cobblestone, uh, also here's a side note, cobblestone, um, well any, any blocks, uh, the highest number they'll stack in is 64. So we just place these like this and it makes a furnace. Okay. Uh, let's see. So now, if I... Hmm, where do I want to place this? place my furnace there, and I can take coal, 
to fuel it with, or you can use wood. Wood just burns up so much faster than coal. And I can take this beef and slap it in there, and it starts uh, heating it up and cooking it. Okay, it doesn't take long. So here is a steak. Now my character's uh, not hungry right this minute, but uh, this uh, meter, so to speak, that you see in the lower right hand side of the screen looks like a bunch of, um, I don't know, chicken legs or something over there. Those are, um, that's your hunger meter. So, uh, you can't let yourself starve to death. And another thing that it will interfere with, like if your hunger meter gets too low, uh, you can't run or sprint. Um, I'm not sure offhand if it affects anything else. Okay, now this chest here, you click on it, opens up, and you can uh, stow away, stash away some... Uh, items that you don't necessarily need right this minute, like here's some saplings, and we can plant some trees later, make it look nice outside, can't let yourself run out of wood, um, let's see, did I have anything else that I wanted to cook, no, uh, not offhand, but I'm hoping to um, make some glass, and some, um, hmm. oh, shoot, still not out. Oh, well. okay. All right. Well, you know what? Um, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.